Happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, I want to introduce to you, if you don't remember, Pat Daly. Um, she was on our episode where we did the emergency kits. Um, and we have gotten a lot of stories about that um, on how great it was. But this is what Pat's been doing for many years. She gets a lot of calls from out of the country, out of the state, um, across the ocean about emergencies with bunnies. And she always is able to walk them through it. So this is Pat. Everybody knows. And I thought we'd share tonight some of the tips that Bobby and I have learned through experience. <clears throat> Before we get started with that. I want to remind everyone to like, follow, and share our Facebook page, and to go to our Instagrams and do the same, and we're also on Twitter to do the same, but also to go to our new YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Um, that is something new for us, and we need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watching in order for us to make this a thing to help the shelter. So don't forget to do all those things. Um, Joy won't be with us for the next three Tuesdays. She is on vacation. So Pat is going to help me co-host the show for the next three Tuesdays. Um, and I think that's all I've got. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments as we go. Um, as always, we like to see where you're watching from, so please, please tell us where you're watching from so we can see where you're from. Okay, so I'm going to let Pat start by introducing you to our bunny of the week. Um, this is Rocky. Rocky is about three years old. He is a rescue like like all bunnies. His owner uh, got tired of him, so dumped him outside, and we were able to rescue Rocky. And he does not like to be carried around, and he does not care for dogs. But he's, like most of the big white bunnies, he is a very easygoing bunny. And we'll sit on the couch with you, watch TV, I know that they get a bad rap because of their pink eyes, which I call them ruby eyes. But these big white bunnies are the best family pets that you can get with little children. And honestly, even with other animals, normally they do really well with dogs and cats and kids. Um, my kids grew up with um, a big white ruby eyed bunny and they're usually very very mellow they used to it used to come and lay with them and my kids would lean on a pillow and snuggle with them these are the best bunnies and they get a bad rap so I am letting you guys know and Pat can back me up on this these are the best family pets so please consider this bunny for your family pet. He deserves a home. He's been returned once mm -hmm. because- Of the dog. He did the, not care for the dog. Him and the dog did not get along. Um, rather it was that particular dog, I'm not sure. Um, but we've had no problems with him at the shelter. He's very loving. He loves everybody and Honestly, I can't say enough good things about him. I am partial to the big white bunnies. Um, so if they're interested in Rocky, they what should they do? Well, if you already are a member, you can come in and, well, drop us a note and we'll make an appointment for you to come meet him. Or if you are not a member and you're interested in Rocky, you can go to our website, morabbit.org and fill out an adoption application and I will be um, getting a hold of you to make an appointment to come in. So let's get this boy adopted. So share my video tonight and with all your friends and family and let's try to find Rocky a home. And we'll let you know next week how it's going. Very good. Okay. So the topic so, tonight. Uh, one of the topics um, is brushing. And 
of course, the rabbit shed uh, all the time. And my bunnies like to be brushed. At first they were a little skittish about it. They weren't sure about it, but now they just love when I take them and I brush them. I think it feels as good to them as when I was a little girl and my mother would take me out and she would brush my long hair. Mm -hmm. It's got to feel really good to them. And it's healthy for them because, you know, the rabbit grooms themselves a lot. And when they're ingesting a lot of their own fur, that may cause them a tummy upset and you do not want tummy upset because that leads to gut stasis and problems so it's a nice thing to keep them brushed and i'm going people tell me um well my bunny does not like to be brushed and i don't quite understand that because my bunnies like to be brushed so much but when i talk to them i find out that Oftentimes they like to sit on the floor and corral the bunny next to them, try to keep the bunny next to them while they're all sitting on the floor. Well, the bunny's inclination is to hop away. So that, that I don't think is a good way to do it. Um, what I like to do is put the bunny, I have a little short table that I put in front of my toilet in the bathroom. And that's where I like to brush the bunnies because all the fur then is kept in the little bathroom and I just am able to vacuum it up easy. So let's talk about um, the reason why your bunny may not be comfortable with being brushed is the bunny may not feel secure in the setting you have chosen. When I brush the bunny on a table, I put, here's my trick, I have this rubber mat. This rubber mat is soft. Yeah, they can see that. Yeah, any kind of rubber mat. Put that on the table. Then put your towel on it, and the bunny is going to feel secure. The bunny is not going to feel secure if he's slipping around on the table while you're brushing him. But Rocky is very secure. Then let's talk about the brush that you might like to use. When I first got into this, I went to the big box store and I went to the pet aisle and I bought brushes and I bought this little cheapy brush and I bought this little cheapy brush and they're worthless. They do nothing. Um, this probably feels good to Rocky, but does it remove anything? It's like a little massage It's brush. a massage, but it does nothing to does remove. does not do the trick the fur until I found the Furminator. That's F-U-R Minator, just like Terminator, F-U-R Minator. And you can find these um, in the pet stores. You won't find them in the big box stores, but you'll find them in the pet stores because it is more of a pricey item. Um, in Do our we stores, sell them? we sell them and we get a good price on them because we buy them in bulk. Now, at the pet stores, they may be $25, $35, $40. It yes. depends on the size. Now, what I like is this small cat furminator. It's a small tool, and it's for short hair, small rabbit. Uh, so, I, that's what I use for all my bunnies, and it works. And what I like about the furminator is it goes down into their fur and it grabs the fur that's lurking under there that you don't even see how much fur is like under there. like that double coat underneath. The undercoat. Mm -hmm. And it is grabbing that undercoat. See how it picks it up? Mm -hmm. And you are going to be amazed at how much fur that you will take off of a bunny in a setting. You can almost take off a whole nother bunny with this thing. It's pretty cool. And I, and you probably know that a bunny's fur, it tends to gravitate toward the butt. You're, <laughs> I'm always amazed at how much fur I can find in, yeah. the, in the butt. And honestly, before Pat even brushes it, there's like all this you can just start picking off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now this oh. is, he's going to feel so much better he if is. I spent the next 45 minutes and brushed him, which I'm not going to do. Yes. So but. they're going to want to know, 
tips on how to get your bunny used to being brushed, groomed, stuff like that. It's very easy. Um, I always tell everyone you got to start somewhere mm -hmm. and you start with Pat's tips and just start with a couple minutes a day um, brushing them and reward them for the good behavior with a healthy treat and then you just build up until they sit as good as Rocky um, to get brushed and then piece of cake. Mm -hmm. It's all about just jumping in, trying it, and doing it, mm -hmm. and you will be able to do it no problem. Um, you'll find that once you brush them, the fur is going to feel very soft to you afterwards, and I think he may, may be enjoying this, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. So, um, many people like different kinds of brushes. But I particularly like this, but there are other brushes on the market that you can try and may do a good job for you. So, so what are we going to look at next? What is another one? Why are you thinking of that? I want to give mm -hmm. a shout out to Bruno because Bruno is a big fan of the big white bunnies. He um, has adopted, oh, let me look on here. Bruno, help me out. How many bunnies have you adopted? Rocky is going to go back to his pen. He is. Okay. And I'm going to also show people how how I pick up a bunny. Okay. Well, he now knows that you're going to hold him. So, mm -hmm. so uh, you want to go like this. I, I go like this, and I scoop up the butt, and I bring the bunny up to me like this. And then I have him securely. Yep. Bye, Rocky. We will see Pat in just a few minutes. Um, but Bruno is one of our volunteers here at the Bunny Shelter, and he does love the big white bunnies, and I know he has a couple of them at home, and maybe he would be generous enough to post a couple pictures of them in the comments for us. Uh, you think you'll like him. His bunnies are really friendly. Um, so we got some people watching from upstate New York. Woo! Hello, everybody. Um, we got one of Pat's friends watching, Jane, and she's in California. We got Ohio. We got everyone from Missouri, Illinois, Swansea, which is Michael's mom. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> and of course, Bob, our wonderful bunny rambler, who everyone wants to steal from us. <laughs> but we share him. Okay, so what's one next? Thing, well, one thing I wanted to mention on the grooming is with this kind of brush, you don't want to go over the same spot several times in a row. You want to keep moving. It does have bristles here, you know, so you want to keep moving. I, I just keep moving over the bunny in different areas. And actually, because this is so good at removing hair, and because a bunny releases its hair rather easily, if you were to go over the same spot, you could actually end up with a bald spot. So, let's talk a little bit about litter boxes. Well... I have a lot of people email me that their bunny digs out all their litter all mm -hmm. over the place. And you are going to share something. Yes. Okay. But I forgot to bring the grate in. That's okay. I'll have to describe it. Yep. So for our bunnies, we like to use a good sized litter box. We don't like the little triangular boxes are the little the little boxes. We want them to have a big roomy box where they're comfortable in. And I've also had some bunnies who actually like to nap in their litter boxes. Maybe you have two. I've had a few. Yeah. So we like the big litter boxes, which are basically this is a bus tub. And you could go to Sam's Club and you can find bus tubs or restaurant supply and buy a bus tub. And this is so much better. Then, 
this kind of litter box, which is sold as a pet litter box in a big box store, and it's not going to hold up as well because you can see um, I had a bunny who's now chewed this plastic all up, which is not good for them either. But well, also, when they get in and they lift their tail, once you get litter in there, lift their tail, poof, going over the litter box. The big bus tubs have an example. Not happening. Yeah. You can see if Rocky would, were to jump in this. And a bunny's uh, urine does not squirt down. No. It squirts horizontal. So here's Rocky. His urine is not going to stay in the box. Nope, it's going all over the carpet. It's going to be going on your wall or wherever. So, big litter box is a better thing. And if you go with a bus tub, he's not going to chew it. So let's talk about what kind of litter do you want to use. Now, we are very fortunate. We're in the Midwest, and we have cold winters, hot summers, but cold winters. And a lot of people in our area, they have wood stoves that they use in the winter to keep their houses warm. So the stores stock wood pellets. So these people can buy these wood pellets and burn them in their wood stoves. And I'll show you what a bag of this looks like. I can lift it. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> so this is a litter. As you can see, it's a wood pellet fuel. It may say somewhere on here that it's sold for fuel. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Yep. And, in and this is so much cheaper than anything else you're going to purchase. Um, you can get this at Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, Tractor Supplies, a fireplace store. Yeah. I'm not. Um, for my friends like Jane, who's out in California, they don't have the cold winter, so it's going to be harder for them to find these hardwood pellets, which mm -hmm. is unfortunate. But they can, you know, buy yesterday's news mm -hmm. and safe. But this is so wonderful for us. And I'm just going to take a little handful out and show you. All this is is compressed wood. And it has no odor. None at all. And it absorbs so good. I only have to clean my bunny litter box once a week because there's no smell. I don't get a smell from it. Mm -hmm. Here at the shelter, we, we change our litter boxes twice a week. Twice a week. Um, but you could get away with once a week, really. It depends on the size of your bunny. Yeah. And there are many brands of these hardwood pellets. Um, every time I go into Menards, they have a different brand on the shelf. But Pennington is a, is a very good brand, mm -hmm. and they're all about the same price, you know, five, six dollars a bag, and they're all 40 pound bags. So, 40 pounds, 40 pounds. for six bucks. You Such can't beat that. A deal. So, uh, let me take this. Can you lift it? Oh my goodness. I think we needed a helper tonight. Yeah. So, um, what's great about it is, even though this is a very big litter box, I'm only going to use uh, half an inch in this litter box, just to cover the bottom. You don't need a big amount. Half an inch to an inch is plenty of, of litter. And you can see where Rocky's going to be able to sit in here, and his litter is not going to be going, squirting out. I can't say enough good things about the bus tub litter boxes. They're cheap and durable and they last a long time and um, they're easily cleaned with white distilled vinegar. Mm, good point. That is um, what we clean with is white distilled vinegar straight out of a bottle. We put it in a spray bottle um, and it kills every smell that your bunny has. Takes the urine out of carpet, floor, Whatever. And you're going to notice in time, the litter box is going to get kind of nasty. It's going to have deposits. It's going to have stains, buildup. But 
I just take the, the litter box, I pour in the vinegar mm -hmm. and let it set for a couple days and it comes out just fine. It just rinses out. Yeah, it's 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 good. Yeah. Now I went, I have to say, I went into Menards recently to buy my wood pellets mm -hmm. and they had a different uh, brand. I took it home, I opened it up, it had a strong odor to it. Oh. Yeah. Did you and return it? I did, but it didn't say on it that it was hardwood pellets. It was wood pellets, but it didn't say any more than that. So I called the manufacturer and said, is there, what, what's in this? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to use pine or cedar around bunnies. And they said, well, there's a lot of pine in it. So I took those back. And I was alerted to the fact that it had a strong odor. Mm -hmm. You do not want pine or cedar around your bunny because as they urinate into the wood, pine or cedar, the fumes uh, are emitted from that. And the bunny is breathing in those fumes. And pine or cedar fumes is going to damage that bunny's organs over time. The hardwood pellets are just fine, no smell. So, Pine or cedar, you do not want. So big tip, if it has an odor, take it back. So what's your next tip there, Pat? Well, let me see, Bobby. What can I, what can I tell you? We have time for maybe one more good tip. Hmm. <laughs> well, one that she forgot to tell you is if you have a bunny digging in your litter box, oh. the grids, we put the little grids inside the litter box. Want me to go get one? Um, sure. Yeah. And um, you want to see it'll fit in here. So if you put the grid on top of your litter, it prevents them from being able to dig the litter out and making such a horrible mess. So quite a few of our bunnies at the bunny shelter, um, they dig in their litter box. So they have the grids in their litter box and we don't have to worry about them making such a mess all in their cage or flinging it out. As you can see the cage behind me, um, you know, throwing it on the floor. So, it works. Um, we've done it for years. Um, when Pat brings it back, I'm sure you'll recognize it. It's actually um, back in like the shelving parts, like at Walmart or Target. They come in a box. They're called grids, and they a lot of college students um, buy them to make the little square cubes with. Um, and we just don't use them for that, obviously. Um, we use them for the grids and the litter boxes. Oh, and Pat is back with one. So this kind of a, this will fit nicely in this size of a bus tub. Mm -hmm. You'll see it just fits perfectly in there. And I just put enough of the litter so I can kind of sink this down so the bunnies doesn't get his legs caught. Yeah. But this will not fit in this size. No. You have to have a good size litter box. The bus tub. The bus tub. They're cheap. I mean, they're, I like you the get bus two for what? I think Sam's is a two pack for 17 bucks. Or I don't even know if it's that much. It's, it's very reasonable. And it's, it lasts forever, so that is a good thing. Yes. Um, so. Do you have any more tips? If not, I think we will let them go. Okay. Unless you have something else that you well, would like to Well, we could talk share. about color of urine. Okay. You want to talk about that? Well, In fact, you have a quick story. Which one? Well, you had a bunny and you, you, you were letting the bunny out and the bunny is running around yes. on your linoleum floor and you sent me pictures they were, oh, it, there were big, big red splotches, yeah. and you freaked out. Yeah, I thought this was many years ago, back in the day. 
Um, <clears throat> I thought my bunny was peeing blood. So I panicked, called Pat, um, and she reassured me. I think you, the way I remember it, you called the vet, said it was an emergency, yeah. and you rushed your bunny to the vet. I did. And then what did the vet tell you? Oh, Bobby, that, that it's not a problem. Yeah. What? It was just regular pee, and it was just probably from something they ate, and it was just red pee. It's okay. And this happens kind of often. I'll get a call because the owner will be same. very scared because all of a sudden the urine, which is always yellow, they see a red stain or red puddle, yeah. and they're freak, they freak out. So we come up with a tip. So you're not, you don't have to be embarrassed like I do and rush your bunny to the vet and say, oh, <laughs> and yeah, you didn't yeah. have to take them. Yeah. So the trick is, this is hydrogen peroxide. Now, if you have a spot that's really blood, you pour this on it and this is going to fizz. It's going to fizz white. If it is urine and you pour this in, you're going to have no reaction at all. So it's a way to have distinguished, oh, it was red urine. And urine can be many colors. It doesn't have to be. No, it's many, many yellow. colors. It can be orangish. It can be light red. It can be dark red. It depends on what your bunny has been eating, maybe a different kind of vegetable yes. uh, would would cause the bunny's urine to change color. So, um, so and, and when I nick myself and I bleed and I I will use hydrogen peroxide to get that stain out. I'll just pour it on so, and it will yeah. fizz white. Yeah. And this is a good stain remover for, for blood. blood. It is. It's the perfect one. I use it all the time now. Um, yeah, it's great now that I, you know, we all learn. We learn from experience. Um, that's why we're here to to help everybody. Um, but Bob Carmody just reminded me of a trick that he does in his litter boxes is he puts two layers of paper towels down first and then he puts his litter on it because the paper towels draw out the urine, you know, oh. away from the bunny's butt. Um, okay. I also have a lot of people that use potty pads and put them down first and then put litter on top of the potty pads and then just a small layer and then they just pull the potty pads up, trash it, and that also pulls the urine down. Mm -hmm. um, my particular bunny that I have now can't um, use litter. So he uses potty pads in a litter box, just as if there was litter in them. He's so good about it. Um, I put potty pads down in the litter box and he goes in, eats his hay, does his business, and then every morning I and put new in. Um, so he does really good with with that. Mm -hmm. But he is and oh, tell people why he yeah. why you can't use litter with. Well, I'm sure they if you've been watching, I have um, a tripod bunny, three legs, and he's small and he struggles on any type of litter and any mm. slick surface and because he tends to lean to the side he tends to get pee on his side so I have to kind of baby wipe him every day and um, I started putting a little layer of hay over the potty pad so he's not like leaning into the potty pad and that's starting to work really well so mm. I'm still learning things, so mm -hmm. still trying different things for him, but he loves it. He's a happy bunny. He's a spoiled bunny. We and love spoiled bunnies. And he's very happy. But yeah, I take him camping with me, um, and on my trips, and I just take his litter box. I have to duplicate everything at home in my camper, um, or he won't use it. So, Rini, you uh, watched him while I went on vacation, and she had all her stuff set up, 
with the litter box and she's calling me saying he won't use the litter box and he hasn't used the litter box and I said um you might want to put his litter box out she switched the litter boxes and he instantly ran in there and went to the bathroom no problem and she texted me back you have an extremely spoiled bunny <laughs> and I know this <laughs> so you know it is what it is so Pat if we don't have any more tips to share tonight we might save some stuff for next Tuesday mm -hmm. um, I think we will go we have our work cut out for us out in the shelter a lot to work tonight we do tonight um, so we're gonna let you all go and thank you for watching thank you for watching and Pat and I will see you next Tuesday yes talk to you guys later bye bye